Hello students, good afternoon. This is Professor Henderson and this is part four of the head to toe assessment. So the vascular system, checking for the carotid root. So instruct your patient to um, take a, a breath in and hold it. Use the bell of the um, stethoscope to listen to the carotid artery. Ask the patient to hold his breath. Listen for any um, swishing sound or blowing sound. Any swishing or blowing sounds indicate stenosis of the carotid artery. You should not hear a swishing or blowing sound. If it's present, needs further workup. Checking the um, jug jugular vein. Place the patient at a 45 degree. Have the patient turn to the side. Look for any distension of the vein. They should, they should not be any distension. No jugular vein distension. Assess it at a 45 degree. No pulsation should be noted. Measure the um, central venous pressure greater than 2.5 centimeter indicates fluid overload or heart failure. The vascular system, the peripheral arteries and vein assess for adequacy of blood flow to the extremities by measuring arterial pulses and inspect the condition of the skin look at the nails um, inspect the the feet for e for even hair distribution look for any shiny prominences assess capillary refill assess the pulses for any irregularities Assess each peripheral artery for elasticity of the vessels, wall, strength, and equality. Pulses. The normal pulse is a 2 plus. A pounding pulse is noted to be 4, and 0 is an absent or no palpable pulse. Peripheral vein. Assess the brachial artery. Assess the ra ra radial and the ulna arteries of the forearm for pulses. Make sure you compare and contrast the pulses on both sides. The radial pulse is on the thumb side. The ulna pulse is to the, um, the pinky finger. And the brachial pulse is the inside of the anti-cubital space. Mm. Peripheral arteries. Assess the femoral artery. Um, if you can't feel the pulses in the lower extremity, you can use a Doppler to, to, um, to assess the pulse because sometimes the pulses are absent in patients with uh, peripheral vascular diseases or patients with um, edema. The, um, the, pop, the dorsalis pedis pulse and the, um, the, femoral, the fem femoral pulse. Assess these pulses for strength and equality. Are they regular? Are they irregular? Check the skin for temperature. Look at the color of the, um, of the feet. Look for the hair distribution. Use a Doppler if you cannot hear the pulse. Very varicosity. Varicosity occurs due to prolonged standing. 
varicosity it's um the dilation of the vein due to prolonged standing look for peripheral edema pitting edema phlebitis is due due to um inflammation or trauma to the um to the veins or the arteries Palpate the epicondyl nodes located in the medial aspect of the arm. Inspection of the breasts. The breast self-examination. Use the finger pads of the three middle fingers to feel for a lump. Use a circular motion. High risk patients with cancer needs to have a mammogram every year or a MRI. Every breast cancer detection recommendation monitor breast self examination for women in the 20s and 30s. Patients that are high risk that have a family history needs to be monitored closely. Examine the right breast. Lie down on your back and place your right arm behind your head. Use the finger pads in the middle fingers of the left hand to feel for lumps and nodules. Move around the breast up and down. Repeat self-examination in the left breast. Observe breast in the mirror with hands pressing firmly on the hips. Look at the size of the breast for symmetry. Look at the contour of the breast. Look at the nipples for any discharges, any redness, any discoloration. Check the walls in the mid-axillary area. Patient should be lying down. Place a pillow or a towel under the patient's shoulder blades to, to further the position breast tissue. Palpate tail of the spans. Abdominal assessment. Begin with inspection and follow with auscultation of the abdomen. Inspect the abdomen for um, for its contour. Look at the shape of the abdomen. Some the the contour of the abdomen should be scaffold, flat or rounded. Look at the color of the um, the abdomen abdomen. Look for any scars or any. Um, any striers, any um, venous um, patterns. Look for um, any pulsation. Look at the contour. Observe for any masses, any bulging, any dis distension. Enlarge organs or masses caused by the abdomen be distended. Look for any pulsation. Look for peristalsic wave from side to side. Inspection should follow by auscultation. Then palpation. Light palpation. Light palpation is about 2 centimeters. Deep palpation is about 4 to 5 centimeters. Listen in each quadrant. Starting with the right quadrant, working in a clockwise manner. Use a warm diaphragm to place over each quadrant, starting on the right quadrant. Listen for a hyperactive bowel sound, which will indicate GI motility, such as gas and diarrhea. 
listen for hypoactive vowel sound, which are signs due to um, gastric emptying. Listen for a brewy. Palpate the abdomen. Ask the patient if they're feeling any pain, any discomfort. Do not palpate an um, abdomen that they are distension or suspected um, peritonitis or Wilms tuner. It's contraindicated to palpate the abdomen if you suspect Wilms tumor or peritonitis. Have an NCLEX style question here. When conducting an abdominal assessment, the first skill a nurse puts to use is the answer is inspection. We always start with inspection of the abdomen, looking at the color, looking at the contour of the abdomen. Deep palpation, it's about four to five centimeter. Look for aortic pulsation. You should not see any aortic pulsation on the abdomen. Ask the patient about their bowel patterns. Do they have a regular bowel patterns? Um, do they have difficulty um, urinating? Are they constipated? Um, Inquired about their um their their last menstrual period or their last pap snare. 